This is a 1936 Studebaker Dictator four-door sedan. It's a six-cylinder. The Dictator uh, series was a six-cylinder. The President was the eight-cylinder. You can tell uh, by the uh, vertical lines there and the uh, side of the uh, hood there. There are uh, separators there on the side. Can't see it too well right here. But in a minute, there you go. There you can see a few vertical lines there. That's the six cylinder. The eight cylinder doesn't have those. And there's the uh, big running board, the side view mirror. The interior looks like it's been uh, reupholstered. And it's two-tone gray. Styled steel wheels. There are assist straps there in the back to help you get out. The very uh, side back window has, is on a pivot, so you it uh, pivots out for ventilation. And looking forward here, you see probably the most uh, interesting part of the car is that uh, dash. Definitely Art Deco. Beautiful form. There's the gear shift. There's the ash receiver there in the middle. And the crank for the windshield because it does crank out for ventilation. And the glove box there on the other side which matches the same half circle that uh, the uh, other side uh, has. One visor instead of two on the driver's side. Gas cap. And uh, there's the bumper and you'll notice here in the back something very interesting. First of all it's a sloped trunk. So it's a kind of a semi fastback and it has just one tail light. That was fairly common back in the 30s. So this was definitely before the days of turn signals. Near the styled steel wheels, notice, has some nice uh, lines to it. Suicide door in the back. Another view of the instrument panel. Notice how long that gear shift is. And there's that uh, grill work there on the side of the uh, of the hood. Beautiful car. Notice the big cowl vent too that's open for ventilation. Very stylish.